So we're going to Ko Nan Young. I could be saying that completely wrong. I'll just ride at the bottom. It's just, you can't drive there, so you have to get a boat. We have laundry to pick up later as well. There's not really much to do today, just that. So a lot of tourists come here to get the paddy because it's one of the cheapest places in the world to get it. It's around 300 euro. So people come here for about three days. Um, we're not doing it though. I have a fear of deep water. <laughs> I want to do it, but I just don't have the money to do it. Yeah, we have a budget because we're backpacking, obviously. Mm. Okay, so I had to run back and get some bug spray because the weirdest thing, there's a nest of ants in our bike. And there's so many, like it's actually rotten. Just going down to kill them. See that? So many, but under here, the steering wheel. Oh, I can't see it now. There's loads. Oh my God, look at that under there. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but look at all those ants. They're all coming from under the steering wheel there. I have the book spray here though. Do you want to give it a try? Oh yeah. Oh. Can you do my leg, please? Just my ankles. Don't spray it on my Birkins. It started raining, but I think it's hailstones. I don't know. We're just a tropical island, but I can't imagine hailstones. But I feel like they're so hard. I feel like it's ice. Ow! Is it me? Ah! Oh, <laughs> so we got absolutely soaked. I think. Thunder storm just came in there now and kind of ruined our day for us. Imagine we were snorkeling in this. <laughs> Stay yeah. At least I got a shower for once. Mm. We were just at the boat place as well. We were just about to buy the ticket and then this rain came. Imagine there. we were out on the boat in this. It's not like a well equipped boat as well. It's the long tail ones. It's just, just a plank of wood that we're floating on. Perfect time. That would be a disaster um, with no ponchos, aren't they? We might have to do an extra day here because the weather's been so bad. I think tomorrow isn't. As bad, but it's the thunderstorm now. But look, look what I got. So we went to 7 Eleven instead and got hot chocolate and some treats, and we'll just chill out here for the night. Hot chocolate. Mosquitoes coming in. Go to your It's only like three o'clock now, so if it gets any nicer between now and six, we might go out again and try and get to the island, but. Doesn't look good, it's like really dark clouds out and it looks like it's it here for a while. It gets dark really early here as well. We're just getting ready to leave now. We have a full day to waste because we're not actually leaving till nine o'clock tonight. We're getting a boat to our next location. So yeah, we're just getting ready to go now. We have to check out now, but we don't know what to do to waste our time because we have no bike and the weather's so bad. I say we'll just have to sit in a cafe all day. Well, I say we could do a bit of editing or something. Mm. I might try and go to that viewpoint that we tried to go to yesterday. The weather was just so bad when we tried to go there, so... Oh, yesterday was just pure thunderstorm. This is all our stuff. We're getting better at packing as well. Yeah. We're, we're bringing less stuff. Like, um, each time we pack, I throw away a good bit of stuff that I don't need. <laughs> <laughs> the bin is full. <laughs> I keep keeping everything I don't need, like ponchos and like plastic bags and stuff. Like, I don't know why. I keep thinking I'll use them, but I won't, so... Mm. I threw away loads of stuff and I let go. Finally. But we're actually sad to be leaving because this bed was the comfiest bed we ever slept on. Yeah, I think mean, because there's like a mattress top where you can see it there. Beds in Thailand are really hard, like 90% of them. But it's really good for you, like it's orthopedic. This bed is like so squishy, like mine back home. Mm. So we just got the tickets for our boat and we're in a restaurant now getting some breakfast. I don't know what the plan is for the rest of the day because we don't have a bike or anything. I'm not really sure where we're going, but we'll see. just walking on the beach now it's really cloudy don't think it's gonna rain we're just kind of looking for things to do passing time it's only around three o'clock now and our boat will leave till nine so we've about five six hours to waste and i think what we're gonna do is go out to the island get a boat out there because the past few days it was absolutely pouring rain and we couldn't do it so today seems a kind of an okay day to do it look at the size of this swing it goes all the way up Jesus, Daniel. Don't swing here. Side. Look, it's all over my side. Okay. Ready? Daniel, no! <laughs> Come on. Oh, God. Put your feet up now. Oh, Julie! <laughs> it's all going over my side. You're the heavier one. I don't know why it's not going over your side. <laughs> it's cool. I've never seen one like this before. Yeah, it's very big. It literally goes right up here. We 
we found someone to bring us out to the island for a 500 baht return. He said it'll be around an hour. We'd be going out for about 10 minutes, then we have to hike up and then come back down and come back. So that'll be fun if that's our boat. Number 66, remember it. I got absolutely soaked. <laughs> look at me, look at my legs and everything. The waves just came like over the boat, literally. Drenched. I'm gonna be sick again. So we just arrived and we're gonna go do some hiking because I'm wearing the proper footwear again. It's not a hike, it's not a hike. We were walking onto the island and we seen that you had to pay an extra 200 baht to enter it, yeah. which we didn't know before we came. Just... The boat was 250 each and the entry fee was 200. So 450 baht, it's around 11 euro. It's not the worst. It's just like, they didn't say it on the boat. Like, yeah, we didn't anything. know it was this at all. <laughs> it's all right though. We're here now and it's so beautiful. So it's, yeah, it's really nice. It's really nice. Yeah. But... I suppose with COVID the past few years, they weren't getting anything. Maybe that's why. So there's a viewpoint we're going to go up to now. It's over behind us up there. But that's where we're going to head now and see the view. It's not a hard hike, so it'll only take us about maybe five yeah, minutes. I never even knew there was a hike. Danny didn't say it. That's why I wore the shoes. And I'm wearing flip-flops. Danny, you literally did not tell me at all <laughs> that there was a hike. I know, sorry. He said we're going on the beach. Oh well. Our bags are extra heavy today because we have everything in them. We have all our valuables in our backpack. Like laptop, camera, everything. Extra waking up the steps. My eyes are so dark. Mascara. We made it to the top and it's so nice. It's exactly what we expected. Daniel's fine his drone and it's telling him to land it because it's that windy. They're just saying strong winds, lower altitude. Oh. Daniel's so brave with his drone, like he goes so high and so far, like I get so nervous. It's definitely worth it. The hike wasn't bad at all. The whole hike was just steps going up and it wasn't that bad at all. It took us about five to ten minutes. We're gone over the hour already, so we have to get down quick because he might charge us extra or he'll go and leave us on this island. So Look. So after we went to that island and we came back, we just went to a cafe and used their Wi-Fi for like three hours, tried to kill time. We're actually leaving Koh Tao now and it's the last of the islands that we're doing down south of Thailand. It was just a pity with the weather, it was kind of overcast and raining a few days so we didn't actually get to do much uh, water activities. Yeah, the weather just wasn't on our side but it's actually a really nice island and we're getting an overnight boat now to uh, Serentani and then from Serentani to Koh Sak National Park. It's meant to be the nicest national park in Thailand so we're going there for three nights. We didn't get to do all the activities we wanted to do but like there's always a next time we definitely will be back because it's so nice. Okay so we leave Koh Tao at 9 which is about half an hour time and then we arrive in Saritani 5 a.m so it's gonna be a long boat ride. Hopefully we sleep all the way through because I get such like boat sickness like I just don't mm. want to be getting sick all night. We got tablets that make us fall asleep as well. They're for boat sickness but they're <laughs> drowsy ones so Hopefully I got these asleep. in the chemist, 85 baht. Like nice. I just needed something to make me not get sick. We're just gonna end this vlog here now and start a new one of how we're getting to the national park. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Like and subscribe. It's only three o'clock now, so we have the whole evening to go out. And if it's still nice, we'll go out. And sorry, we'll go out. <laughs> <laughs> go away, <laughs> my god. Oh, I think my nose there. <laughs> <laughs> it's only like 3:30. Oh god. <laughs> It's only it's like 3 30. It's only a shower, so it might pass. It's only like 3 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going. Look.